Hey everyone and welcome. Today we're diving into a topic that affects everyone, confidence. That feeling of knowing you can do something, that inner spark that propels you towards your goals. But what exactly is confidence? Is it something you're born with or can it be learned? Science has some fascinating answers. We'll explore the brain chemistry behind confidence, discover how our bodies play a role and learn practical tools to cultivate unshakable self-belief. The Symphony of Self-Belief Imagine your brain as a complex orchestra with different sections working together to create a symphony of emotions and behaviors. When you feel confident, a specific set of instruments takes center stage, the reward pathways. The star conductor of this show is dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and motivation. When you achieve something or take a brave step, dopamine floods your system like a triumphant melody. This feels good, but it also has a deeper purpose. Dopamine acts like a high five from your brain, reinforcing the behavior that led to the positive feeling. It's a positive feedback loop. Feeling confident leads to dopamine release, which motivates you to be confident again. But what happens when doubt creeps in? Stress hormones like cortisol take over, drowning out the dopamine melody and replacing it with a cacophony of anxiety and self-doubt. This negative feedback loop can become self-perpetuating. Anticipated failure triggers cortisol release, which hinders performance, reinforcing the initial fear and undermining confidence further. The good news, understanding this brain chemistry empowers us to intervene. By consciously engaging in confidence building activities, we can stimulate the release of dopamine and disrupt the negative cycle. Imagine focusing on your successes, replacing the negative with the positive. That's the power of consciously cultivating confidence. Beyond power posing, embodied cognition and confidence. We've all heard the advice, fake it till you make it. But is it just a superficial trick? Science suggests a deeper truth hidden within this seemingly simplistic advice. Let's explore the concept of embodied cognition, which posits that our physical state can influence our mental state. In simpler terms, the way we hold our bodies can actually affect how we feel. Enter social psychologist Amy Cuddy and her research on power posing. Adopting a power pose, standing tall with open gestures and strong eye contact, can trick the brain into feeling more confident, even if the initial feeling was simulated. This phenomenon can be explained by the activation of the prefrontal cortex, the area associated with dominance and decision making, while simultaneously reducing stress hormone levels. The implications are significant. Simply by altering our posture, we can trigger a physiological shift towards confidence. It's like putting on a confident costume that sends signals to our brain to feel strong and in control. The growth mindset. Cultivating confidence. Through effort. Confidence isn't a fixed trait etched into your DNA. Psychologist Carol Dweck offers a powerful perspective with her concept of growth mindset. A growth mindset posits that our abilities can be developed through effort and practice. It's like believing your brain is a muscle. The more you exercise it, the stronger it gets. This stands in stark contrast to a fixed mindset, which views intelligence and talent as preordained qualities. By embracing a growth mindset, we reframe challenges as opportunities for learning and development. Imagine failing a test as a chance to learn the material better, not a reflection of your intelligence. This shift in perspective empowers you to view challenges as stepping stones on the path to mastery, ultimately boosting your confidence. Let's explore a powerful reframing technique, adding the word yet to statements of failure. Instead of saying, I can't do this, reframe it as, I can't do this yet. This subtle shift acknowledges the current challenge while maintaining hope for future success. It reinforces a growth mindset and fosters the belief that with effort and persistence, we can overcome any obstacle. Imagine telling yourself, I haven't mastered this skill yet, but I'm determined to keep learning. 
a much more empowering approach than dwelling on failure. The celebration of small victories, building momentum. Confidence doesn't flourish overnight. It's a journey fueled by a sense of accomplishment. Focusing on celebrating small victories, not just major achievements, is crucial. Did you finally master that yoga pose you've been struggling with? Did you complete a challenging task at work? Celebrate these wins, no matter how small they may seem. Celebrating small wins reinforces a growth mindset and builds momentum. It shows your brain that you're making progress, keeping you motivated on your confidence building journey. Track your progress. Keep a journal where you note your accomplishments, no matter how small. This allows you to reflect on how far you've come, which fuels further confidence. Bonus tip, the power of mindfulness. Building confidence isn't just about external strategies. It also involves cultivating inner peace. Mindfulness practices like meditation can help reduce stress and anxiety, which often undermine confidence. By taking a few minutes each day to focus on your breath and quiet your mind, you can create a more fertile ground for confidence to blossom. So let's recap. Confidence isn't a magic trait. It's a skill you can cultivate. We explored the science behind confidence, from the reward system in your brain to the power of body language and a growth mindset. By understanding these concepts and implementing the strategies we discussed, celebrating small victories, reframing failures, and practicing mindfulness, you can embark on a transformative journey towards unshakable self-belief. Remember, confidence is a journey, not a destination. There will be ups and downs along the way, but with dedication and these tools, you can build the inner strength to tackle anything life throws your way. So, take action today. Start celebrating your wins, reframe your self-talk, and don't be afraid to strike a power pose every now and then. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into building confidence. We hope you feel empowered and equipped with the tools to cultivate unshakable self-belief. If you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe for more science-based tips on personal development. And don't forget to share this video with anyone who might benefit from a confidence boost. Let's spread the power of self-belief together. Until next time, stay confident. Thanks for watching.